Hello! We'll continue our lessons to discuss about knife and flow files. So what is a flow file? A flow file is the very heart of the knife and data pipelines. It's one entity out of a whole, just as is this window that you see here, an open window out of uh, the entire building. So a flow file is basically a single piece of data passing through the system. It's actually a data record. A flow file is not just the content. A flow file is composed of the content and the attributes. The content are the data in itself, by, uh, represented by the flow files, and the attributes are the characteristic and different properties so that provide information about the data. There are some standard attributes that any flow file has. The UIID is the unique identifier for the flow file a file name and a path. The file name is the fi actual file name in the sense that you know it that can be used when storing data to disk or in an external service and the path is a path uh, for storing data so that uh, storing everything can be done in a hierarchical structure. You can also have a look at the flow files in the UI in our example that we've seen in the previous lessons, I've stopped one processor and I have here one flow file. If you right click here on the relationship line and then click on list queue, you will be able to see a list of all the flow files that are available in your system at a specific time. Over here you will see the flow file information that are currently active and you can see the little eye there, here. If you click on it, it will show you more details about the flow files. You will have this panel with two tabs, the details and the attributes. The details provide several details about the flow file, um, different information about the attributes and the content itself. Oh, you ha see here also the download and the view. You can download the raw data, the actual content, and also you can also view it if you don't want to download it, but you want to track it. And maybe it's useful for monitoring and debugging purposes. The attributes type provides the list of all the attributes available for a flow file. As I told you before, each flow file has the ID, the file name and the path attributes, but other attributes com can come based on the step the flow file is and based on the processor they are generating them. So you will see here the full list of the attributes of this flow file. The active flow files are had in a hash map in the JVM memory. As you can imagine, this is very good for retrieving data, for storing it, for accessing it, but it doesn't provide the resilience uh, that we want. So in order to achieve this, NIFI has put in place a system, it's called FlowFi Repository, which is a write-ahead log or a data record that stores the metadata of the flow files. When we are talking about metadata, we are talking about flow file attributes, a pointer to the actual content and the state of the flow file, which connection or queue the flow file belongs to. Having this, the knife resilience is met. So each change is locked in the flow file repository as a series of data. Besides this, Periodically, a snapshot is automatically taken, which creates a new snapshot for each flow file. So, after a restart, the system has the last version of the flow file snapshot, while the right ahead log provides the step the node is. Putting everything together, the system is able to restate the previous state before a shutdown or if something happened with the machine after the re a successful restart everything will be put in place and we'll know how to continue so that's it about uh, the flow files i wanted to present you briefly uh, what they are because it's a keyword that uh, you'll heard quite often in the next lessons 
So you better had a brief understanding about the flow files. As I told you, it's the very heart of defining the data pipeline. So stay tuned for the next lessons.